And welcome back to more W2K14 Universe Mode. I'm Brendan, and this is WWE Main Event and SmackDown here on episode number 20. Holy shit, number 20 of Universe Mode here on 2K14. And this is the card. Remister and the Big Show. They are a new tag team. They're going to team up and take on the primetime players. It'll be interesting to see how this new tag team goes. Kane, he got a big win against John Cena. RVD beat Brock Lesnar. What happens when those two guys square off? We'll wait and see, but that's going to be huge. And speaking of huge matches, Fatal 4-Way, Cesaro, Sandow, Swagger, Ziggler, and all these guys in contention for the Intercontinental Championship. That'll, that will certainly give us an idea of where we're at in that Intercontinental Championship scene. And uh, we'll play that matchup as the primetime players beat Mysterio and the Big Show. So big loss there in that first official tag team matchup together. A big win there from, from the primetime players, though. So... Next up, Kane versus RVD. Can RVD continue his winning run? Yes, he does. He defeats Kane. And Kane, where we just thought... Uh, we thought Kane was probably going to make a player for that W Championship, but he couldn't get the job done against RVD. That'll be very interesting to see what happens there. But RVD, he is really proving to everybody that he's a top contender at the moment. He's kind of just been a... Who hasn't, hasn't, we haven't seen him for a while now. He's flown on the radar. He's come up. And now, perhaps, he will be facing Brock Lesnar in the future for that championship. If not, he'll be on the Rock Survivor Series tag team. But enough of that. It's time for some SmackDown superstar action as Damian Sandow walks out here. And as Wade Barrett is our Intercontinental Champion. And uh, it's been a very interesting time for the Intercontinental Championship. Kobe Kingston and Wade Barrett has gone back and forth, back and forth for weeks and weeks. Now it's finally time for somebody new to step up as Kobe Kingston's had many opportunities. He's failed. Now it's time for perhaps Dolph Ziggler, Sandow, or the former Real American Cesaro and Swagger to step up and show us what they can do. And uh, this will be very interesting to see. Ziggler really hasn't done much in our universe mode. Perhaps him getting the Intercontinental Championship is something, a good way for him to uh, step up and get and achieve something. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Swagger from behind doesn't want to waste any time. You can't. You just have to go back to Hell in a Cell, where Jack Swagger was defeated by Cesaro in the Hell in a Cell matchup. These two guys simply just do not like each other. They hate each other. And now Swagger jumps on Cesaro early on in this matchup. So the match hasn't started yet in this Fatal Four Way match, but Jack Swagger wanting to beat down Cesaro early on here. And man. What a way to start this one off. I mean, these two guys, Swagger and Cesaro, just simply do not like each other. Their rivalry has uh, gone on for quite some time now, and they just want to beat the crap out of each other, which is fair enough. I mean, if you hate each other, just put them in the ring together and uh, do what they do best. And that's what they had. That's the opportunity they had at Hell in a Cell to do. And fortunately, I think uh, Cesaro just kind of dominated Swagger, to be honest. Didn't really let Swagger get much of an opportunity to get into the match, and Cesaro didn't really need to use the environment around him to, to knock off Swagger. It was just a simple, easy matchup, easy victory for Cesaro, who I think is probably ready to move up the card. You know, speaking of the Intercontinental Championship, I think Cesaro is ready to move up into the World Heavyweight Championship scene with that big victory over Swagger. We'll have to wait and see what happens there, but you have to probably say that he's going to be ready to move up into the big leagues, and uh, we do know that we do need some new challenges for that Waterway Championship if uh, Mark Henry can't get it done against Ryback, which we'll find out later on the aftermath of that World Heavyweight Championship matchup, of course, where Ryback is the new World Heavyweight Champion. As I spoke about on the previous episode, I know the matchup kind of failed on the, on the Hell in a Cell video, which I apologize for, as the match just officially gets underway now, all four guys in the ring. But Ryback, of course, did win that Hell in a Cell matchup, so that was... A very exciting matchup indeed, and we'll have to see what happens exactly uh, later on with that. But for now, it is uh, this fatal four-way matchup, and uh, Swagger still going after Cesaro, Sandow still going after Ziggler, and Sandow has been up there. He's almost had a few opportunities for the belt, but Kobe Kingston or a Christian or a Cody Rhodes has just been above him, and now you know Christian and Rhodes are out of the picture. Kingston's also out of the picture as well. Maybe it's time for him to get his opportunity that he probably feels as though he deserved three months ago. And, uh, you know, Ziggler, he's been somewhat in, a, in the World Heavyweight Championship scene. He's almost had an opportunity, but hasn't really been given that chance. 
and uh, hasn't really earned it though. But now, if he can win this Fatal Four Way match, I think he'll be uh, the prime contender for Wade Barrett's championship. Who he's held that belt for some time now. Uh, of course, she well probably about you know just over a month. Um, of course, you have to go back to where he lost it and he regained it. And uh, I think it was he regained it at Night of Champions. So he's held it for a month now. He did hold it for only, I think, five days before he uh, lost it to Kingston, and Kingston got it back. You know, Kingston had a huge long title reign, and they really dominated this Intercontinental Championship scene and in the division as well. So it's interesting to see which uh, new competitors are going to step up and uh, take this opportunity to get the championship belt around their waist. And uh, you have to get the feeling now that there's probably one of these four guys are going to get it done. You know, I can't see anybody else really stepping up at this stage. There's nobody who's really proved themselves. And I think Cesaro, Swagger, apart from the, the, the Swagger loss, sorry, the Cesaro loss, Swagger's been very, very good. And I don't, I thought he was probably ready the next in line after Kingston. But now that Cesaro's beaten Swagger, you probably get the feeling that Cesaro is going to be the guy to get it done if he doesn't uh, move up to the World Heavyweight Championship uh, matchup. And uh, Ziggler, he's probably moved down the car trying to get himself some singles gold. And Sandow has just been in and around the title scene but hasn't had that chance. There's a sleeper hold applied there to, to Damien Sandow. But Swagger breaks it up. He knows that he that uh, he doesn't have to be pinned or submitted to lose this match. Fatal 4-Way rules, of course. And uh, here's a cover. And just a one, one count there from Ziggler who needs this victory. Honestly, if he doesn't win this one, where does Ziggler go? I mean, he really hasn't done anything in our universe mode. It's time for him to step up and prove himself. And he's got a big opportunity. I mean, Intercontinental Championship scene has been very, very uh, prestigious here in our universe mode. And a kick out of two and a half there from Sandow. Ziggler thought he probably had it. And we've had some great IC title matches on our universe mode. So whoever holds the championship... Oh, what a gut wrench powerbomb from Swagger. If you can pin him here, that, everybody's down. Cover two... Three, yes, Sandow gets up, but just not in the nick of time as Swagger sneaks in and steals the victory. Wins the Fatal 4-Way matchup. That is a huge victory for Jack Swagger after a big loss against Cesaro the night uh, on at, at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. Now comes here on main event, wins the Fatal 4-Way matchup, and probably puts himself in the prime position to take on Wade Barrett at Survivor Series for that Intercontinental Championship matchup. Huge victory, and uh, you have to say congratulations to Jack Swagger. Not the official number one contenders matchup, but gives us an idea of what and where we're going with this championship division. And, uh, nonetheless, next up we have SmackDown, where we will find out the aftermath of the Hell in a Cell championship matchup. And uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Here is SmackDown. You know, I lost my championship at Hell in a Cell, and I'm not going to come out here and whinge and complain that I lost. Instead, I want Ryback to come out here and face me eye to eye, and I'm going to tell him something that he's never going to forget. Because Mark Henry, yes, I may not be champion anymore, but I'm telling you, I'm going to get that championship back very soon. Well, congratulations, Ryback, on your big victory. But let me tell you something. I'm still the top dog here on SmackDown. This is my brand, and I don't care if I don't have the World Heavyweight Championship, and you do. But the fact is, I'm still a better wrestler than you. I'm still better in every single way than you. And I'm telling you right now, Survivor Series, I'm going to whoop your ass, take that championship back, and you will find out what it means to get your ass beaten by someone better than you because I'm telling you I'm gonna end you and I'm gonna end your little title reign and I'm gonna take back my throne at the top
Well, Mark Henry sending a statement to Ryback there. What will happen? We'll have to wait in the next couple of weeks as Jack Swagger will take on Ziggler in the first matchup here on SmackDown. The White family will take on the Usos. Barrett will take on Christian. Fatal 4 and another one. We're going to play this one, actually. Bella, Layla, Oksana, Summer Rae, Del Rio will take on Sheamus, and Chris Jericho will take on Mark Henry. Now, that will sure to be a good matchup as Swagger defeats Dolph Ziggler. And of course, the rematch, you know, Swagger did pin Ziggler on main event. As the Wyatt family defeats the Usos, Christian upsets Wade Barrett. We're going to play that Divas match. And Del Rio defeats Sheamus. And Mark Henry, deservedly so, is the number one contender for the, for the World Heavyweight Championship. All right, so... Here we go, Fatal 4-Way for the D... Well, not for the Divas Championship, but arguably a number one contenders match for the Divas Championship. Brie Bella, unfortunately, at Hell in a Cell, had a big rematch. She just came back to the WWE on our Universe Mode after not being available in the game. Now she's back, and she couldn't get it done against AJ Lee. And Layla, who arguably so deserves a shot, who never got an actual rematch for her championship that she lost to AJ Lee, so will she win tonight to get an opportunity once again at AJ Lee's championship? We'll have to wait and see. Oksana has also made a bit of a play with his championship belt. She's, of course, she was a part of that triple threat matchup where AJ Lee beat Layla. Uh, AJ Lee actually pinned Oksana to get the, the championship win. So Layla, not only did she lose the championship and not get a rematch, she wasn't actually the one who got pinned. So, tough times ahead for Layla, but she has an opportunity if she can win this champ, uh, win this matchup. Arguably, so will be number one contender for Survivor Series for the Divas Championship. And hell, we have been stepping it up with the Divas uh, matches. More Divas matches than ever. Oh man, I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> but Summer Rae, I think this is the first time we've seen her on our Universe mode, and I really like her entrance. Uh, I really like. it will go a little strut down to the ring. Really like that. That's cool. And uh, I think Summer Rae is a, a nice surprise. It was good to have her as a, another diva to use because I didn't expect to get her, you know, this early because, you know, we didn't have bloody Bray Wyatt. We didn't have RVD. We didn't have the Usos. Didn't have Curtis Axel. Didn't expect to have a Summer Rae involved considering she didn't come in until probably around, I don't know, Extreme Rules time or something like that where the Usos have been around for years. Uh, Axel came in after WrestleMania. Yeah, so, whatever. Um, anyways, it's good to have another Diva, which is... The real problem with the Divas division is there's barely any Divas to use. There's only a handful of Divas, so... It's kind of, you know, makes for some repetitive matches. But we've actually, we had some new Divas come in and uh, spicing things up a little bit. And it's good to see. It's good to see uh, Summit Ray and the Bellas now in. I think we also had Caitlyn come into this 2K14 game, which is great. Uh, more Divas, the better, in my opinion. And I think the WWE certainly needs to bring up some new Divas in the reel to uh, spice it up a little bit as well. But uh, our Divas division is going strong. AJ Lee champion. She was dominant, very dominant. Hell in a Cell, knocking off Brie Bella with ease. Even the fact of Nikki Bella and Brie Bella's corner did not matter at all. Brie Bella just simply not good enough. And there's a big slap to Summer Rae. Brie Bella simply not good enough to beat AJ Lee. And uh, that seems to be the, the common thing. With AJ, she's been very, very good. The only person who's been able to get the best of her was Layla. And she's been lucky enough to be able to, to avoid her. But if Layla wins here, probably going to have to take on uh, Layla at uh, Survivor Series. So that'll be very, very interesting for AJ Lee. And uh, Layla deserves a title rematch, but she's going to have to earn it. Unfortunately, uh, the authority, Vince McMahon, making her earn it here on SmackDown. Still need to find out who's going to be the GM of SmackDown. There's been a lot of speculation for months now. And uh, no idea when we're going to find out out. But uh, Vince McMahon still running SmackDown very, very well for the Authority. Representing the Authority very, very well. And uh, Layla representing this Divas division very, very well. And she takes it to Oksana. Brie Bella taking it to Summer Rae there in the corner as well. SmackDown looking very, very good. Uh... You know, Mark Henry and Ryback, this situation certainly bring. Mark Henry, of course, has a title rematch because he lost at uh, Hell in a Cell to Ryback. In a, it's just a normal matchup. And Mark Henry lost. Ryback, new champion. First time in our universe mode, he's held championship gold. And Mark Henry, who held the championship belt since uh, the week after Money in the Bank, um, had a pretty good reign. Um, 
I think, what, three-month reign, and uh, unfortunately it came to an end. He was dominating, you know, dominated Sheamus, the big show, Chris Jericho, and now he's just uh, not been able to beat Ryback, who, uh, who has been on a big roll himself, and there's a, a cover, but uh, a roll-up there was, but, uh, it was a bit of a rope break. So very interesting times ahead for Mark Henry in... Can he beat Ryback and get his championship back? I no, we're going to find out at Survivor Series. There's uh, Layla, big uh, neck breaker. Well, the neck landing on the shoulder. Goes for a cover. Could be it. Two, three. Yes. Layla wins. And she is the number one contender. Let's face it. She deserves a shot against AJ Lee anyways. And she had to earn it. She had to beat Summer Rae to do it. And she did. And a uh, big victory there for Layla. And uh, congratulations. She uh, certainly deserves that opportunity. And uh, we'll have to wait and see how she goes, how she fares against AJ Lee at Survivor Series in her rematch that's uh, been long awaited. Brie Bella had to get her rematch out of the way. She lost. Now it's time for Layla to step up, perhaps become the new queen of the Devious Division. And I hope you guys have been enjoying Universe Mode as of late. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would love it if you left a like on the video, and as well as that, feel free to leave some comments and any suggestions on the Universe Mode. What would you like to see? And uh, if you want to comment about anything in this video and much, much more, please do so. Also, please subscribe. I'd love to if you do that. And uh, follow me on Twitter, Brendan Players. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you very much for watching.